Hello everybody, welcome to week two. Um, today we've got legs straight up. Also this week, since we have a whole week backlog workouts, if you find a second 10 minutes on any given day, pick your favorite or the one that you felt like you worked the hardest in and do that one as well. So you might get 20 minutes some of these days. Let me know how you go if you manage to get 20 minutes in and which workout you picked to do. Um, but otherwise, let's get straight into legs. A couple of quick tips for setup. So we're gonna be on our side to start with. You can either be up high on your elbow or out straight. Whichever version, just make sure you're lifted through your underneath waist, your top hip is long and your feet are in line with your butt. From here, I want you to just find that bony bit on the outside of your thigh and just go just back towards uh, your butt cheeks. I want you to squeeze your heels and feel the muscle tense underneath and then release. And then squeeze your heels and then release. So not a very big move. Squeeze the heels and release. We're just going to do five more of these. This is just priming your butt muscles. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. One more. All right. Now bring that top hand in front. Lift that underneath waist. And then you're going to take the top knee up and down. Up and down. Squeeze your heel before you take the knee up. Up. And down. Check to make sure all of your natural curves are present so you're not tucked in your pelvis. Your um, spine is really long. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. We're doing eight, so I think we've got two to go. Lift and lower. Now, whole leg goes up and down. Up and down. If you need to, sit your butt right up against a wall so that you can tell if your pelvis is moving backwards or not. Well, just take a peek. You want your pelvis to stay perfectly still. Underneath waist is lifting. One more. Now, bring your feet up. Keep your feet where they are. You're going to take the knee open and close. Feet squeeze together. Three. And four. Five. Relax your feet so they don't crep. Six. Seven. And eight. Now, whole leg. Open, close, open, close. Three, underneath waist is lifted. You're looking straight ahead. If you're up on your elbow, make sure you're really pressing the floor away and lifting that underneath waist. Six, two to go, seven, eight. Now, I want you to think of the figure eight. Bottom leg rests. I want you to draw a figure eight with that top knee. Go down, up and around, and then down, up and around at the back. Down, up and around at the front and at the back. Bigger eights in the sky. Up and down, up and down, down and around. We're getting internal and external rotation in the hip joint. Down and around, down. One more, and down. Now you've got to reverse the direction. We go up and over, and up and over. Up and over at the back, up and over at the front. You need a lot more tummy control for this direction. Lift and rotate and around. Up and over, up and over. Two more in this direction. Keep breathing. Give that a little punch. From here, take the feet back up, take the leg up, Straighten, bend, bend, open, kick, down, down. As you kick that leg, the thigh doesn't move. Kick, down, two more. Kick, last one, kick, down, and rest. Give that a little punch. Now, if you can, bring that top leg out in front of you, bottom leg lifts, you're gonna go up and down. Two, three. If it feels weird in the front, take it back behind you. Up and down, up and down. Just resist the urge to let your pelvis drop all the way back. Up and down. Three, two, one. And from there, you've gotta come and change sides. So rearrange yourself, feet are in line with your butt. Arm out long. Lift your underneath waist. 
and then you find that bit of your butt muscle, squeeze your heels and release. Spine is long, you're not tucked through your pelvis. Lengthen and release. Lengthen, release. Lengthen, release. Five, four, three, two, one. Now here come the exercises. Take the top knee up and down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Five, four, looking straight ahead. Underneath waist is lifted. Pelvis staying stacked. And one, hold the whole leg. One, and down. Two, and down. Three, keep breathing. Four, feel like you're drawing between your hips together and between your bottom ribs together. Four, three, two, one. Now, hold the legs, lift them up, we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight into whole leg. One, two, three, four. Underneath weights is lifting. Five, six, seven, one more, eight. Rest the leg. Figure eight. So you go down and around, down and around. The knee joint doesn't really change. You're moving the thigh bone in the socket. Down and around, down and around, down and around. Trying to keep the pelvis as still as you can as you move. Down and around, two more in this direction. Then you've got to reverse the direction, up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Good. Underneath waist is still lifting. Up and over, up and over. One more. Okay. Give that a little punch. Leg up, we go up and kick and down and in. When you kick, your thigh stays in the same place. Flex your foot if you're cramping. And kick and down. Four to go, up and kick and down and bend. Three, underneath waist is lifted. Two, and last one, and rest. All right, from there, bring that top leg in front or behind, straighten out the bottom leg and you're going to go up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. From there, you're gonna roll over onto your back, cross one ankle over your knee, pull the leg in towards you, and you're just gonna hold that for five breaths. Nice, long, slow breaths. Every time you breathe out, try and go a little deeper in your stretch. Change the legs over. Now from here, I'm just going to move away from the wall a little. You're going to have one foot on either side of your mat, cross one leg in and then take the other leg out to the side. So you're going to be in this sort of spread position. Press that hip up so you get a stretch through the front of the top hip. You're just going to hang out there for five breaths. Two more. Really let go through the front of your tummy. Then bring your legs back through the middle and go the other way.
Two more breaths. From there, bring your legs in towards your chest. Grab a hold behind them. Come up. And you're all done.